Welcome Stats Busters to question 9. And this is all about a real statue in the north of England. It's called the Angel of the North. This is 20 metres tall and 54 metres wide. They are real measurements. And obviously this is just a scale drawing. But Ali is going to make a scale model. So in the same way that a scale drawing is a much more scaled down, smaller version of the real thing, a drawing, a scale model, is just a scaled down model version of the real thing, a 3D version of the real thing, but much smaller. Her model is only 40 centimetres tall. How wide is her model? Now, there are two ways you can do this. There's a very, very quick way you could do it, or there's a slower way you could do it and still get the same answer, but obviously that would mean you would have a deeper understanding of what's going on. If we do the quick way first, basically, if you compare the 20 metres tall of the real thing to the 40 centimetres tall of the model, then what's actually happened to the number 20? You've gone from 20 to 40. So you basically just times the number by two and swapped metres for centimetres. So that looks like that's the rule. Times by two and swap metres for centimetres. So if you apply that same rule to the width, you would go 54, you would times that by 2, which is 108, and obviously swap the metres that is here for centimetres, which they've already done the answer. So your answer is actually 108. Now there is a second method you could use for that. 108 is right, by the way, that would give you a deeper understanding of what's going on. So 20 metres... Remember, in one metre, there's 100 centimetres. So 20 metres is 20 lots of 100. In other words, 20 hundred or 2,000 centimetres. Now, basically, I'm trying to get you to understand how many times bigger the 40 centimetres is in the model to get it up to the real thing. So if we do 2,000 divided by 40, it'll tell us how many times bigger the real thing is than the model. So 40s into 2 won't go, carry the 2. 40s into 20 still won't go. So you put the 0 up there, but carry the 20, because you haven't used the 20. And now that makes 200. 40s into 200 goes 5 times, and 40s into 0 goes 0. So basically what this is telling us is that it is 50 times bigger. The real thing is 50 times bigger. So if we now know that the real width is 54 metres, and don't forget 54 metres is 5,400 centimetres, if we make that 5,400 50 times smaller, then we will find out the width of the model. So to make 5,400 centimetres 50 times smaller, we would have to do... 5,400 divided by 50. Let's see what that gives us. 50s into 5 won't go, but you haven't used the 5, so that now makes 54. 50s into 54 goes once, remain the 4. 50s into 40, well, 50 won't go into 40, so you put a 0 at the top, but you haven't used the 40 because it wouldn't go in, so carry the 40. Now that makes 400. And 50s into 400 goes 8 times which is 108. So all we found there, this is a, another way of getting 108, but it is showing you that it's 50 times bigger. The real thing is 50 times bigger than the model, and the model is 50 times smaller. So all we've done is made the 5,400 50 times smaller by dividing by 50, and we get back to 108. Whichever way you do it, the answer is 108. You could always resort just to saying what we said earlier, that that number 20 has just been doubled. So that number 54 is just doubled. That would also work as well.